Hello there, people of YouTube. Uh, I just received my replacement disc today for the film uh, Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks, and I figured I might as well make an informative video on it because, well, I haven't really done anything with my YouTube channel in a while. So, um, for those of you who are not aware, and, you know, as many who are probably watching this are aware, the first printing of the film, which is right here, um, had a bit of a glitch on it. That is to say that when that um, once the movie reached the end of chapter four, it started from either the main menu or the audio commentary um, option from the bonus menu, it would skip to chapter six and then play chapter five when chapter six was over. So ostensibly, chapters six and five were switched, which made it so that the movie played out of order. This disc, however, and I have already tested it, fixes this glitch. Now, on this disc, you could bypass this glitch by going to the chapter select. But if you have this printing of the film, you won't have to do that. And that is the reason why I made this video today. To show you the, the how you can tell the difference between the first printing of the film and the second printing. So, I'm just going to open up this sleeve and show you the disc. Alright, so here is the uh, second printing of the film, which I have confirmed fixes the glitch. Now here is it compared to the first version. As you can see, uh, there's not much differences in terms of the uh, graphics on the disc itself. It's pretty much exactly the same, which I guess is to be expected. And it's mostly got the same information along the rim here and whatnot. But, as is the case usually with DVDs and subsequent printings of them, you can tell the differences between the two by this number right here at the end of all this information along the side of the disc. Now, the original printing of the disc uh, has the number SF15198. And the second printing that fixes the glitch has the number SF15703-REV, which presumably stands for revised. So, if you're planning on, you know, selling the original printing of the disc online, you know, for collectors or whatnot, or if you want to, you know, see if you have the first printing of the DVD, you know, for the collector's value or however for whatever other reason you might want it you can prove that is the 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 original version of the dvd if you're you know selling it on ebay or or whatnot by you know putting by you know posting a photo that displays that the number on the disc is in fact sf15198 and if you ha and if you've purchased the film recently and want to check to see if it's the fixed version, then the number for that is SF15703 REV. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, well, I do have for those you know who are curious, I do have plans to make a uh, proper video on something soon. I don't know exactly what that will be, but. Um, if I do make it, you you can, you know, be the first to see it, if you may, by, uh, you know, clicking subscribe. So, uh, with that all being said, see you later.